Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jane and in this channel, we talk about fragrances. It's a brand new month and today we are talking about another clean at Sephora perfume brand, The 7 Virtues. For those who may not know, the clean at Sephora stump signifies that the product is formulated without a list of over 50 ingredients, including sulfates, parabens, phthalates, and more. I am personally delighted to know that clean fragrances exist and these are really good options for perfume lovers who may have hypersensitivity to any or all of these substances. I have another video on clean reserve fragrances, another clean at Sephora brand. I will leave a link in this video if you'd like to catch that. A few tidbits on the brand The Seven Virtues. It is founded by Canadian journalist Barb Stegman, who's written the book The Seven Virtues of a Philosopher Queen, a women's empowerment book inspired by her best friend's peace efforts in Afghanistan. She then continued on to support the cause by sourcing perfume ingredients from not only Afghanistan but other depressed countries like Haiti, Rwanda, Iran, Madagascar, and India. If you'd like to know more about the brand story, I will leave a link to their documentary called Perfume War. So the fragrances are clean, vegan, and cruelty-free and made with inorganic sugarcane alcohol. There are currently nine fragrances in the line. All are in O, the perfume concentrations, and all come in 50 ml sprays, 10 11 ml roller ball and 1.7 ml samples. Apart from perfumes, the brand also carries perfume oils. The piece box contains seven fragrances, all layerable. If you buy this sample set direct from their website, you will receive a copy of the book for free, as well as a sample of Blackberry Lily, which is not part of this set. I think this will make for a great gift. I got mine from Sephora, so no book. The fragrances are fairly simple, minimalistic as they are meant to be layered. The fragrance I was most curious about from this set is Vanilla Woods. Vanilla Woods is an amber woody fragrance launched in 2018. Top note is pear, middle note is rose, base notes are vanilla, caramel, and amber. The perfumer is Angela Stavreska, who also made perfumes for luxury perfume house Clive Christian. This is a fruity, woody vanilla lens, a little gourmand, but not too much. This doesn't go into an uber sweet direction. If you know or smelled or own Sol de Janeiro Cherosa 40 Body Mist, the pink bottle, this smells super similar, about 90% similar but Cheros 40 is a sweeter version of this one and in the very same vein this is vanilla you can wear in warmer weather this is not heavy or syrupy sweet this is woody but has an airy fairy feel and can absolutely be worn daytime in our local weather nighttime or cooler weather appropriate too because of that gourmand touch this is great to wear on its own but i can also see this as a perfect layering vanilla that won't clash with a lot of perfume compositions because it's fairly simple but this packs a punch and will absolutely enhance the fragrance layered with not grabbing a bottle of this because i own and love cherosa 40 that's my most worn body mist of 2021 i love that cherosa is a tad sweeter and on its own has a bit more character than this one Rose Amber is a sheep floral fragrance launched in 2018, created again by Angela Stavreska. Top notes are pink pepper, davana, cassis, neroli, and bergamot. Middle notes are rose cinnamon, lavender, oris, and jasmine. Base notes are amber, vanilla, patchouli, sandalwood, and vetiver. This to me is what a traditional rose fragrance smell like. On air, this smells more soapy clean rose to me. I love layering this with patchouli citrus to keep this from falling falling flat and plain Jane rose. On its own, this smells like the deep dry down of intense cafe and similar rose amber fragrances. Next in the set is Jasmine Neroli. Launched in 2018, the nose behind this fragrance is Julie Pluchet or Julie Pluche. Top note is Neroli. Middle notes are Jasmine and Honeysuckle. Base notes are Amber and Labdanum. As you can see from this sample, I enjoyed wearing this perfume. I'm almost out. I wore this to work under PPE and it didn't turn sour 
it still smelled great after a couple of hours of wear in humid weather. This is a great simple standalone fragrance. There's enough of both jasmine and neroli in here that one doesn't overpower the other. The jasmine here has a little bit of an indolic character but nothing off-putting or anything. It actually smells more realistic that way. Great to own if you live in mostly warm climate. Patchouli Citrus is a 2018 launch. Um, this is a sheep floral created by Julie Pluchet with top notes of mandarin orange, bergamot, peach, cassis, and black pepper. Middle notes are rose, geranium, peony, and jasmine. Base notes are moss, patchouli, cedar, amber, and sandalwood. Worry that the patchouli is overpowering? Nope, not here, not in this perfume. There's something about this perfume that will remind you of the oak mossy patchouli undertone of Chanel fragrances. This smells the classiest in this set, incorporating a retro feel to a modern composition. The closest Chanel fragrance to my nose is Chanel Chan's Eau de Parfum. Farm. I smell them side by side and in the air, they smell very similar. Grab a bottle if you do not want to splurge on a Chanel bottle. This is great to own and wear on its own, daytime or nighttime, appropriate in local weather. Plus, I receive a compliment when I last wore this perfume. Vetiver Elemi is a woody spicy fragrance launch in 2018 created by Angela Stavreska with notes of elemi, bergamot, and grapefruit on top. Middle notes are geranium, cardamom, nutmeg, cumin, jasmine, and rose. The base is vetiver, moss, cedar, amber, and patchouli. This is a masculine leaning fragrance to my nose and I would love to smell this on a man. The spices are a standout here but they are fresh and has an uplifting quality. This is quite resinous and incensey but stays breezy and fresh. My husband loves this on himself. I love this on him too. Grapefruit Lime is another masculine smelling fragrance in this set. This reminds me of Calvin Klein colognes with that aftershave fresh soapy clean vibe. This was created by Angela Stavreska, launched in 2018. Top notes are lime, grapefruit, petit grain, lemon, basil, and orange. Middle notes are green tea, bamboo, cumin, lily of the valley, neroli, and juniper. The base is cedar, sandalwood moss, and amber. This will do well as an aftershower perfume for everyone. Great for warm summer days. The last fragrance in this set, but certainly not the least, is Orange Blossom. This is simply Orange Blossom, but I thoroughly enjoyed wearing this perfume as evidenced by this sample. Another Angela Stavreska creation, this launched in 2018. Top notes are lemon, mandarin, orange, petit grain, bergamot, grapefruit, and tangerine. Middle notes are Orange Blossom, neroli, oris, and jasmine. The base is vetiver, labdanum, and amber. Not incredibly unique, this will remind you of Orange Blossom, Neroli dominant perfumes from other brands. This opens with a blast of fresh Neroli, drying down sweeter with more jasmine coming through, but not as much jasmine as the jasmine in Neroli Jasmine or Jasmine Neroli. My personal favorites from this set are Jasmine Neroli, Vanilla Woods, Orange Blossom, and Patchouli Citrus. These are great on their own without having to layer them with anything. But if I were to pick one full bottle worthy, I'd say it's this one. Patchouli and citrus. Just because this one smells way more than it actually costs. And that completes my review of the 7 Virtues Peace Box. I think they have a pretty good lineup here. These are easy to wear perfumes, very wearable, some lean feminine, some masculine, some are totally unisex smelling, there's something for everyone. These are great everyday perfumes for our local weather. I wish Sephora PH would carry this brand soon. The 50ml retails for 85 US dollars. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Share your thoughts down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and turn on notification so you'd know when a new video is uploaded. Stay safe and smell great everyone and I will see you in my next video. Bye!